Good to see you there. Welcome to another edition of Mexican American Pickers. In this episode, a 1984 Redline 500A BMX. I cannot believe I stumbled upon this. Not to an estate sale in Cleburne, Texas. Had a moving cell a few blocks down. The estate sale had nothing for me. But the moving cell in the shed in the backyard had this under a pile of junk bikes. As soon as I saw it, I knew what it was and I knew I had to have it. Now you can occasionally come across these frames, but to find the bike, original rims, original tires, even two pieces of the original padding, only, only thing missing is that, that knuckle pad right there. It's just exquisite. Did a little work to it, cleaned it up a bit. Does it have a little bit of rust still left on it? Yes, it does, but it exists. This is a 1984. When I was a Mocoso from the Vario, one kid in the Vario had a BMX that was of this quality. A kid named Manny Valdez, and because he had one, we all had one. But now, I have one. For now. It's just exquisite. In 1984, Redline came out with a 500A uh, to make a baseline model that people had could afford a high quality BMX. So even though this wasn't top of the line, the thing is, you just don't find them anymore. They are so rare. Look at these original. Ukai rims there. Just amazing. Just one of the coolest bikes I think I've ever come across in picking. Whoever ends up with this one, they are they are definitely getting a treasure. So it's Joaquin Sewateneo, Mexican American picker, signing out. Until next time. <laughs>